FOMC meeting. Either they're going to um, raise rates 25 basis points. This side is the S&P 500 three-minute chart. This side is the Dow Jones uh, three-minute chart. So we can see them both together, and I'll go on pause. But once again, we're expecting it, and we're within minutes away. This will be the first interest rate hike if they do it under the Trump administration. Basically, you know, the stock markets ran up uh, quite a bit, and we're going to see what the volatility here in the S&P and this side over here is the Dow, which is coming off its highs. We're one minute away right now, and basically we're going to have the uh, FOMC minutes release. And then we're going to have a conference with Janet Yellen thereafter, which is about 30 minutes after this release. Reserve just raised interest rates 0 0.25 points. We could see what this knee-jerk reaction is. We have an interest rate that has been raised on the overnight funds rate by 25 basis points. This is the S&P. This is the Dow. We can clearly see the knee jerk on the number, which is typical with the FOMC. The other thing that we're going to get is we're going to get a uh, FOMC conference meeting with Janet Yellen, and you're getting this live right here, right now. You're getting to see this triple diamond volatility in the um, platforms that we built here, and we have that rate increase it's the first rate increase. This is the S&P. It is breaking higher. It's breaking higher. And so is the Dow. This is the Dow. This is the S&P. And we're getting that bulletproof, what we call spike on a huge spike. And then we're going to take a, a minute to find out exactly what the uh, reasoning for the uh, 25 uh, basis point was and like I said you see everybody's been anticipating this and so the reverse engineering is to make it a bull instead of a bear the Dow is up 78 points the Nasdaq 100 is up 22 points the S&P 500 is up 14.2 points it's at 100 IR in our system and we were breaking out and now we're going to see what happens. This is part one of the FOMC meeting. It's called the knee-jerk reaction. Hey, listen, for the last 35 years, we've been watching the Fed every day. And this is the kind of what we call intraday volatility off of the number. But just how long does it last? And once again, selling into the news. Buy the room or sell into the news. Some of the stocks are breaking out to all-time highs. I will be back with more of an update in part one of the FOMC meeting, part one. Here we go on this three-minute chart. This is the S&P 500 right now. The S&P just had a big spike, up 90 points uh, on the Dow. And on the S&P, we're on 15.69 uh, at 23.81. On the FOMC meeting, raising the overnight funds rate at 25 basis points. That's the S&P. That's the Dow. I'm going to show that Dow. You want to see a big volatility trade in the Dow? This is it on a three-minute chart. And it's live. It's now. It's at 11.40 a. So AM is the time and 315 of 2017. It's the first hike of the new year. And that's what the Dow Jones looks like. And this is, you know, trading the vol volatility. And I will show a 60 minute chart on the S&P. And here's a 60 minute chart on the S&P. I'll go ahead and go back in here, and this is our, and I'll hit some more deltas, and it will price it in. And now we're going to take a look at what the upside looks like for the S and P. The S and P had this great pullback that we did, and now we can see what that 60-minute bar 
right to the penny looks like on a 60 minute and there we are so basically there's going to be lots of headlines there's the three minute there's the six minute to the teeny line it's got a 99 98 ir that's how strong that move is so that means that the short sellers got caught this they did they got caught here's that dow there's a three minute there's a six minute fomc meeting part one we are going to get a conference with Janet Yellen. And at that point in time, we're going to see what the Fed language is as it comes out and does what it does. Like I said, over here on the S&P 500, we can take a look at where Amazon is breaking out. We have Google is breaking out. We have TSRO. Our big short that we had is coming up higher. The TQQ right here. Here's that bull. Here it is, spiking off of the lows of 85, 45, up a dollar fifty cents. That's the bull. That is the bull ETF. We got stocks that were down all day going into this baby, and they're breaking out. And I'm serious. Here's another one that I would like to bring to everybody's attention is, is that we got our intraday price line. All of our call options that we have are breaking out higher. Yes, they are. And this is part one of the FOMC meeting. We will go ahead and release this video so we can do part two. And part two of the FOMC is going to be the Q&A questions. And once again, we are breaking out to all-time highs Yes, we are. You can see the uh, positive move off of the lows. You can see this whole FOMC meeting. You can see the S&P 500 live and what it's like to trade the volatility ahead of a monumental uh, FOMC rate hike. There's 60 minutes right there. We have a long ways to go. This is the breakout from that report on part one. 